So what happened May of 2018 at the Bradley International Airport? Man, that was some bullshit. <laughs> Like I said, I'm a, I'm a very outspoken individual, and I believe in what I believe in, and I stand on that, and it's more than obvious. Uh, a young lady who worked there was abusing her power to say so, to put it, wrap it up in the shortest form. She was telling me, like, my manager, she just walked out. First, she harassed her, because her, she has two last um, last names, so she hyphenated. So it's Hendrix Kellum. She like, I need this person, this, or you can't get through. Why is it only this name and not th that name to her? I'm standing there. I'm on the side. I got my bonnet on. I always got my bonnet on. That's just what I do when I'm comfortable. So I see three people come through with hats. All the shit I go walk through. Oh, you got to take this off right now. I'm like, I ask her a couple questions. I'm like, okay, why should I have to take this off if they didn't have to take that off? Because da -da 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 -da. I'm like, all right, what if I'm religious? And this is her job. Would you make me take it off? She like, that ain't religion. I'm like, well, how do you know that? And then she just <laughs> goes on this tangent. I'm not, you know, complying because I'm just like, until you show me a law that states that this has to come off, I'm not taking it off because I'm not as dumb as you think I am. Then it, it, it turns into a verbal debacle. She calls for backup. It's a black man. I'm like, you as a black man, you going to let them do me like this? That's what got me harassed. And it was in his feelings because I called him out in front of everybody. That's literally. And then I get in the police car. Motherfucker trying to talk to me, be friends. I'm like, Fuck you. Right. So you get arrested. Yeah, because he was upset that I asked him that in front of them. Like, I feel like he felt like I was questioning his authority as a, a superior black man in a goddamn airport. But I, I'm just like, you know they wrong. If they wrong, just tell them they wrong. Then they go on to tell me, oh, TSA can make up their own laws. Because I'm like, I fly all over the country. I ain't never heard this before. Why should I have to do it? Because you want me to. And that's that was their explanation. Oh, we can make up our own laws. Shut the fuck up. I'm never coming back here. <laughs> well, you, you tweeted. You said, uh, I'm never going to Hartford, Connecticut again. Ever. Um, I had to bail out of jail for wearing a bonnet in the airport. And that showed me enough about what type of place it is. Period. Like, and that, and that was facts. I get to the goddamn courtroom. The goddamn judge, she got her hair done, all type of shit. <laughs> I'm like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> then we look to the side. Now, I'm like, mind you, it's, everybody's cases is going on. They calling everybody cases. They call my name. News publications start flooding in. <laughs> I said, oh, I see what the f*** y'all My manager politely tell him, he like, don't do that. He like, don't record her. This ain't what it is. Mind you, I flew out there because they couldn't technically charge me with nothing. It was demoted to a fine. Hmm. But now y'all trying to make an example out of me. So I told her, I said, hey, you bring them in here? I'm going to tell my story and the world going to know what y'all did to me. And that's what made them dispose of all that bullshit. Because I told them, like, I'm, I'm not dumb. Like, y'all going to have to deal with that. Y'all want that? Because that's what it's about to turn into. A whole different type of situation. I I can almost guarantee you every dollar in my bank account, every fucking news publication walk the fuck up out of there. Hmm. They didn't want that problem. Well, then uh, September of 2019, I guess you guys were watching a movie. Somewhere. We were watching Power. You know how you got apartment complexes yeah. and it, you can rent out the theater? That's what it was. Somebody brought me back my weapon. It wasn't on safety. I was checking it. It backfired. That's all it was. They turned it to this whole, Kamaya shot up a movie theater. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, like, and I understand that. Like, I'm a strong black woman from the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? I'm very outspoken. They're going to try to pay me as an angry black woman. That's just, I just know that's what they're going to do. And I'm not going to explain myself every time somebody feels as if I'm doing something that they don't agree with. Why should I have to explain to you what happened when I know what's happening? If you watch the goddamn camera, if, the, if I release the footage, you will see that. It's like a boom. And we all look at each other. We laugh. We're like, what the f*** just happened? Then we get the f*** out of there. Because they you know, know some <laughs> shit. Like, oh, we got to get the f*** out of here before they come. We about to get in trouble. Well, yeah. Well, you actually got booked for felony neglect discharge of a firearm. That shit all. Dropped. Yeah. $35,000 bond. Nothing with. So, so all of it is dropped. Dropped. Misdemeanors. Cause I didn't do nothing. Like I don't got no priors. Like I'm not no violent drive-by shooting ass gang banging bitch. This is literally for me to protect myself. You see me sitting here. I have a hundred thousand dollars to jury. I'm not about to just be walking around or driving around like this on a regular degular with no form of protection. At the end of the day, I am a woman, right? Yeah. A man is going to try to take advantage of that if he feels the need to do such. I'm not going to let you get the opportunity to do that. That's all that is. Hey, man, I got guns at home too. I feel you. Yeah, I feel you. And I got a license. That's why it was really no big. You have a carry permit? Yeah. How did you get a carry permit? Not concealed carry. I can travel oh, with it. Travel I can't with just it. Okay. have concealed it on my carry. damn head. I was going to say, concealed carry in California is damn near impossible. I can't get that. No, I can legally have a weapon. Yeah. That's what that was. I can legally have a Got weapon. It. 